ended with a conversation regarding the uh, Carabao effect. But the other thing that uh, uh, I, I realize is that you actually do works, you actually do memorials, and you, you have created very powerful, very powerful symbols of uh, human events, no? crisis events. And uh, apparently there are three, there's a typhoon memorial, there is a war memorial, and there is a peace memorial. Uh, would you like to share with us first about the typhoon uh, memorial? Something as, as tragic as uh, these events in our country, no? Oh. And dami patay. Um, we cannot let that um, be forgotten. Here, I think art can participate and remind people of the pain, the the agony, the and 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 remembering the love and the joy and all of that combined. How how do you put that together to remind people? So I think the solution is a monument. And here I am again volunteering myself, mm -hmm. para namang kaya ko, but <laughs> lakas lang ng loob. Mm -hmm. um, after the typhoon Pablo. Um, at the aftermath, grabe talaga. You cannot, it's unimaginable. In, in one of our sites, um, that's uh, New Bataan, mm. around 1,400 died at night. It was a huge deluge of water. The whole barangay was wiped out. How can I help? I cannot mm. just uh, give the canned goods and mm -hmm. rice, but I, I can do, I think I can do more. Mm. So on Sundays, God to ko dito. After the mass, matulo ko art workshop. Mm. But, but I think, anak ko sa kuan ba, I think I can do more. At the ground zero, with the help of some friends, nagbuild ko og ka ng giant um, dove. No, it's an abstract image of a dove. Tapos ang steps niya kay laurel leaf. In that center of that um, monument, nagcarve ko og uh, perforations on wood. But there are a th around a thousand and four hundred perforations on wood. Why is that? Because to symbolize the number of death. I see. So nga nung, ang name sa lugar sa barangay is andap. So I, I thought it's andap andap, ga twinkle, ang ga anak anak siya ba? So ang sugat niya ga anak anak. So I thought maybe the spirits could because they were their lives lives were cut cut short instantly. Anak ko, we could attract them to find peace. Ako ano ko sa community na gusto nako ni donate, kasi tabangan sa namo ang pagbuild sa chapel. So I think that memorial in that form of art can actually help in 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 their pain. And then, on top, you can actually go to the top. Pag mutanaw ka sa taas, you can see the destruction. There's environmental damage. Other than the pain is, of course, our care for nature. That's right. So, all, all of them combined, mm -hmm. I think, it's, it's a beautiful work. Right. Okay. Ang grabe ka tong kuan. Medyo sad story. But when, when I did um, my, my work in Katiil, no? Okay. Kay dili man halos gaabot ang bagyo diha but this time the kan patay around 300 plus. Gi research ko. Sa akong research kay ana lagi tong mga tao dito, sir, kanang pag-agi sa hangin, nanluo pa damong panti, eh gunit ra miya nagsikatawa pa sila. <laughs> yeah, no? yeah. But the the wind did not kill them. The lugs from the mountain that That's flowed right. down destroyed the town and killed the people. It's um natural calamity and man-made calamity. We should reflect on this. When, during my research, naa sila ginapangita na family. Mm -hmm. na, kay ang isa ka inahan, si Damgo, mm -hmm. ang siya, nay, nay, nilalamig kami. Nay, nilalamig kami. Recurring dream. So the rescuers were focusing on this mm -hmm. mother where she lived. Mm -hmm. So after several days daw, nakitaan ang family, ang mga bata. So the baby was there. The, the ate was on top of the, the baby. The kuya was on top of the ate. They were dead. So in my monument, I go, this is my monument. So in my monument, I, 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 I made in, in concrete uh, baby, ate and kuya on top of the other, and the mother putting a blanket over the children. So there's closing. And then the father pulling up the lug that killed them. Sabi ko, bahala nag apasan ko ninyo kung, kung pinsa man nagpotol sa lugs, but I have to do this. So and then I created a rainbow. Tapos at the back of the sculpture is a renewed family with, with respect for the environment and respect for each other. So, moto. It's a very powerful <coughs> narrative, uh, Kuglai. 
Now, uh, going back, apparently you have two more memorials. Uh, the worst one was uh, the Yolanda. It was just too much mm -hmm. because there, there was just too much pain in, in, in Leyte when, when I built the monument. So that was really difficult for me mm -hmm. to, to encapsulate the, the, the pain, the so much pain mm -hmm. into a monument. In the first um, monument in San Agustin Church, I did a giant candle. Candila. Candila. Daku kayo, candila. Daku kayo. But in the flame are, are a pair of praying hands instead of the flame. So I, 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 I wrote there, here lies love, love. and here lights love. Uh, these examples that you talked about ng mga memorial, talk about natural disasters. Pero apparently naapod kayo sa memorial na dedicated to man-made uh, naapod oh. katong uh, about uh, <laughs> mga massacres. Oh. Massacres. Can Actually, kaning mga daghan kay mga man-made ko andre kanang disasters na to like the the Zamboanga siege, the mm. the Magidana massacre. Mm. Um I I always want to participate but it's just difficult because there's it's complicated. Mm. No? So but but I I triumphed in 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 one attempt to to particularly participate in 20 30 year old pain of this community, no. Mm. One sila nasa chapel sila, gamas sila. Girakrakan sila hurot. Men, women, children, pregnant, ha hurot. It was just too too much to to listen to their stories again and again. Kay di man sila mahumag story yah kay di man maklose. So this time ang gibuhat nako is a hundred feet wide ng ng dead leaf. Patay ng dahon. Kaling patay ng dahon ganon patay ng dahon. Kay kay ang dahon manggut mo wither. Murang sila po, namatay sila. So, but in the leaf na dahon, dako kayo siya, ang iyahang tumoy, pag-girl niya, nag-form o shape like a dove. Mm. Murang, ato padulong sa langit. Mm. But it's facing a new, a, a, a new leaf na rin na mm -hmm. And the shape of that is like a man na nag-ana. Pasalamat. So, kato, kuan sila, na-feel kayo nila na for the first time daw na na ay Nai mo ang closing sa ilahang kwan. They felt relieved. The survivors felt relieved. Finally, there's a na na ampu ano gma yu ba? And there's a memorial to make sure that the atrocities are remembered and would never happen again. Are these the? Is this the memorial that has that makes use of used guns or old guns? Adili ni siya. Adili. Unsa man ang ikat? Unsa tungo? Ako ning posil na ko. They call it the bantay ng kapayapaan. This is in in the general headquarters of the armed forces of the Philippines. Oh, it's actually there. In Camp Aguinaldo. In right, Camp Aguinaldo. right in front of the, the, the headquarters. All right. I, I used 4,000 guns. No? These are decommissioned guns. All right. I formed it with firewood. Firewood. Mm -hmm. Firewood, ang guns, I na ko na siya it in Tapos tulo ka book, representing Luzon, mm -hmm. Visayas, and Mindanao. So, ang kuan diha na gikalayo siya pero ang ang flame niya is white and mm. shaped like the symbol of universal symbol of peace the dove mm -hmm. pag dove niya diha na na uh, you, ana ko, you you want peace mm -hmm. lay down your arms let's 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 literally fire arms <laughs> Muna ako, grabe ang kwan. Imagine mo, instruments yeah. of war yeah. now become instruments of peace. So in other words, uh, e even the most bitter or even the most difficult of, uh, situation can be transformed. So basically, uh, y y it seems that you have a, uh, a vision of hope, a vision of uh, transformation. And uh, you, in fact, you've actually mentioned it for uh, as a uh, as something that could happen to the nation from a dark period. hope. You mentioned that about sa Karabao. <laughs> you mentioned that. No? So na na kay underlying message of hope kublay. Uh, and I think dili lang as idea, no? You actually tran translate it into. Development of young artists like unsa tong lunang unsa na kay programa ng life for faces sigi daw kani siya ang this is my 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 gift for my present gift for Mindanao it's called the Mindanao Art Fair na gi paghirapan gid nako ni na ihatag sa ilaha na sa mga artists sa Mindanao kay feeling nako na bilinta sa sa 
pag pag sa sa Philippine art okay pu puro naman sa Manila I've been invited as speaker to the Visayas Art Fair I always participate in Manila Art Fair but but unsa una si Mindanao no nadaghan man kay ta diri daghan kay haud daghan kay kuyaw diri but 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 they are not exposed so I, for for the past years um grabe birthing pain to 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 put up the Mindanao Art Fair so we've been growing and growing and growing and we are bigger but but if you are inside no makita gid nimo na agi mga problema ang mga artists ang mga communities ang galleries ang business so identify man nato ng mga kakulangan sa atong artists and i i put it in my own hands nga man di ay so if i could um, inspire no inspire a few artists one at a time so we can actually make 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 Mindanao better with with this art okay kita may bearers of our culture Mm -hmm. So, ang na-conceptualize na ako is, um, is a four-part program called, um, it, it starts with lunang, lunangan. Lunangan sa bisaya ka ng, ka ng lubluban sa kabaw. Okay, literally, we, we dip the artist in mud. In, in mud is, uh, lumad ba? Mm -hmm. Lumad. Uh, in, in local culture. It's the study of the local culture. So, lunang program is designed to mentor young artists and and to, and ipakita na mo sa ila ang show them what's happening in, in the Philippines show them specific techniques and ay ngana and then um, reminding them of, of the values that that, that of, of the land morgana siya so lalong kaay siya nga program and we are inching our way to to cities and municipalities we are really searching for talented young artists in the provinces to come out and hoping to give them a platform which is Mindanao art but but it's really a long process. So ang second namo karon uh, na program ginapadulong isa daro. 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 Plow. Kanang plow na, mm. plow na. Ik, ikaw na mismo ang mo daro. Okay. Uh, so da, daro is a is when you're ready to put up a show. Uh, so mura kag miage karayom ani kay pinuhon gyud namo siya hangtod kuan, hangtod mo gawas ang iyang kahaud. Uh, the third program is tanum. Plant. plant. So now the plant is when you put up a show in Manila. The mm -hmm. daro is in local. Mm -hmm. The plant is in Manila. In the big city, apil na kasagira. Ah. And then there's a fourth one. The the humay. The humay. What's humay. Humay? humay is. The, the humay rice. is when or oh, rice. Oh. The harvest. The harvest. The this harvest. is when you go back to your community. All right. Uh, and share your harvest. You know, <laughs> um, as I talk and listen to Kublai, I'm. Reminded of uh, there is a there is an art there is a, a classification that Harvard Business Review puts out. It's called the seven levels of trans of leadership. You know, there's a level of expertise. There's a level of but the seventh level is called transformative leadership. And in a sense, as I listen to Kublai, um, what strikes me is that his work. And not just his work, but basically his advocacy. Actually, what he would like to show you later is his tremendous body of work. And he has a massive amount of work. I'm in this house right now. It's, it's amazing. It is a treasure trove. It's an Alibaba. It's, a, it's an Alibaba's cave of <laughs> treasures. He didn't steal it. He created it. But I believe that this, the, an even deeper wealth, an even deeper talent that... Uh, Kublai has been gifted with is the ability to draw out. It's a, it's an, al he's an alchemist in the sense that it's not just a body of work that he, he does, but the transformation of the next generation of artists that is really amazing. Pero I believe that, uh, uh, I believe in what you're doing, which is basically <laughs> a, uh, to, not to use it. It's, it's a functional. No, no, they're actually producing artistic work, but it's coming from a deep part of the spirit, human spirit. You know, in, um, I, I'm a Christian, and, uh, and my, 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 my Christian tradition points me to uh, what is the kingdom? What is the kingdom? But a kingdom of righteousness, peace, and joy. Kanang righteousness, dili kanang hilas ng self righteousness, but it is a kind of righteousness that puts things right, and then there's a, there's a sense of peace and a sense of joy. I noticed that in 
in your work now. Yeah. You know, there is not a, a sense of justice, a sense of peace, and a sense of joy. It's, it, it's very, it's very uh, I find your work right now as something that, that really feeds the soul and also sparks the spirit. Thank you very much for this session, uh, Kublai. I hope that I'm looking forward to a third one. <laughs> looking forward to a third one where we can actually discuss some more, especially your current and contemporary work. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs>